We did it for you. Here's what you need to know with Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. You remember that song back in the day? Damn, I wish I was your lover. I think so, yeah. Damn. Damn. I wish that was our water, and it soon will be, uh, because uh, Colorado River, I mean, a whole bunch of water is racing down from Glen Canyon Dam right now, which is the thing that holds in Lake Powell. Mm -hmm. Nearly 300,000 gallons of water a second is coming out of that dam. It's flying down Colorado River. It's going to end up at Lake Mead, where, like, the lake's going to rise, like, like a foot or two because wow. of this, which is pretty great. Yeah. Um, it, the, the whole reason they're doing this, so there's like these sandbars and beaches that are uh -huh. up and down the river, especially through the uh, the Grand Canyon, um, that kind of get washed away over time. This big rush of water will help rebuild those sandbars so people can still enjoy that area. Um, you know, yeah. it's, it's funny. There was um, a sandbar at, growing up right in our backyard. And... Um, I guess from what I hear from people at home that it you have to be like in the middle of the river now to like be on the sandbar because the water's so low even there. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. So, well, there we go. That's uh that's happening if you plan on going uh, you know, white water river rafting. <laughs> yeah. In now's the, the time. Uh th well, maybe not. I mean, they're <laughs> they're telling you uh use caution between now and Sunday because like legit a wall of water is going to smack you in the face. Uh if you've seen the price of Formula 1 Las Vegas Grand Prix tickets, you know they're not cheap, but they're getting what they're asking for. Las Vegas Review Journal reporting that the events nearly sold out of the 105,000 tickets it plans to sell. The CEO of F1's owner says this race will be the largest in terms of revenue by far. The event expected to generate $1.3 billion in economic impact. That is more than double that expected for the Super Bowl. Uh, there was a blaze in the north end of the valley near Interstate 15 that had everyone in the valley saying, what the heck's yeah. on fire? It looked like the Amazon warehouses were on fire, depending on the angle right. we had. Uh, but CCFD, they uh, showed up. They fought a blaze of 50 vehicles on fire at a junkyard there. Nearly 50 fire personnel, one per vehicle, arrived to fight the blaze. No one that I understand was injured, which mm -hmm. is a good thing. Oh. Uh, now, a st this is a story, like, frankly, it's it's, it's bothering me because, you know, I think it's uh, I think it's pathetic. Pathetically sad. I think it's pathetically sad. Uh, Vegas Vic. <laughs> you know the Vegas Vic sign there? Of course. Fremont yeah. Street Experience. He's the cowboy there. He's got the cigarette from his mouth. His arm used to move, but hasn't moved since like 91. Uh -huh. He used to have, uh, used to be the bell of the ball. Yeah, he, he was. used to own this city. He did. Built in the 50s. He used to talk. He's in all the movies. All the movies. He glowed. He had a mm. smoking hot girlfriend across mm -hmm. the street. Yeah. But what happened? Now he's even not even light up. Mm -hmm. His arm doesn't move. Everyone thinks he's gross because he smokes. <laughs> Vegas Vicky moved in with a, like a really rich guy across yeah. the street at Circa. He's all alone. Mm -hmm. You expect him to be bright? <laughs> not easy. Now the city's on top of him because he's not lit up and he's violating a code, you know, violation for not being yeah. lit up. Yeah. You try to be bright. So sad. It's gone through so much. I hope he makes money on the rerun movies, at least. That's probably no. how he gets his cigarettes. No, because he's owned. The Pioneer Club owns him. There's not even a Pioneer Club anymore. They're <laughs> selling bad Vegas t-shirts. He's just yeah. there hanging out. He used to be somebody. Mm -hmm. No one cares anymore about Vegas, Vic. Now the city cares and wants them to get the lights turned back on, but it could cost a ridiculous sum of money. And I'm telling you right now, I think Derek Stevens should go across the street and go buy that me. thing. Go fund me. Fund For that sign. Yes. Stories at 1027VGS.com. Vegas Vic has every reason to not be bright right now. Mm -hmm. The world has crumbled around him. He's having a rough time. Yeah. Give Vegas I feel Vic bad a for him. Give him a hug if you see him. He smells like cigarettes. <laughs> uh, speaking of downtown, Fremont Street Experience announced their lineup for Downtown Rocks uh, free concert series. The lineup is pretty good. Um... Mm -hmm. Might be the best lineup in downtown all year. Shots fired. Mm -hmm. Smash Mouth, All American Rejects, Switchfoot, Walk the Moon, Dashboard Confessional. So good. I mean, it's a pretty good line, and it's free. Hello. Yeah. Full lineup at 1027VGS.com. Speaking of concerts, things are going pretty well for U2's Las Vegas residency at the Sphere. They announced five dates initially. They've added another seven. Tickets go on verified fan presale starting today. Weather, sunny, mid-80s.